Ukraine is now the most mined country in the world. Our research highlights the impacts not only of the presence of landmines, but also of the process of demining on Ukraine's agricultural productivity. We note gaps in knowledge about the impacts of demining on agricultural productivity, as well as best practices for Ukraine to demine its farmland safely and quickly. On fertilizers, Ukraine's farmland is suffering the impacts of inconsistent and insufficient fertilizer application, which affects productivity today and in the future. Hi. I'm Caitlin Welsh, director of the CSIS Global Food and Water Security Program, and I'm here to talk about my recent report with Emma Dodd, Vitaly Denkovic, Joe Glauber, and Antonina Broyaka, titled From the Ground Up, Demining Farmland and Improving Access to Fertilizer to Restore Ukraine's Agricultural Production. Ukraine's agriculture sector remains a major front in Russia's war. Russia's intentional and widespread attacks on Ukraine's ag sector have resulted in a minimum of $40 billion in losses and damages. And our program's latest research focuses on two foundational aspects of Ukraine's agricultural recovery, demining farmland and increasing access to fertilizers. We continue to focus on Ukraine's agriculture sector in our work for three reasons. First of all, rebuilding the sector can strengthen its economy in wartime as agriculture is a major contributor to Ukraine's GDP. Second of all, it can help restore Ukraine's position as a major food exporter for the benefit of countries around the world. And third, it can help Ukraine counter the influence Russia is wielding through its own agriculture exports. Ukraine is now the most mined country in the world. Our research highlights the impacts not only of the presence of landmines, but also of the process of demining on Ukraine's agricultural productivity. We note gaps in knowledge about the impacts of demining on agricultural productivity, as well as best practices for Ukraine to demine its farmland safely and quickly. On fertilizers, Ukraine's farmland is suffering the impacts of inconsistent and insufficient fertilizer application, which affects productivity today and in the future. We examine Ukraine's options as it rebuilds its capacity to produce some fertilizers domestically and to secure alternate sources of other fertilizers in the absence of Russia and Belarus, which had supplied huge portions of Ukraine's fertilizers before the war. Continued funding for Ukraine is a contentious issue in Congress, of course. Beyond increasing military support for Ukraine, we think that policymakers should also consider ways to increase support for Ukraine's agriculture sector, particularly for demining and fertilizers, for the important reasons we lay out in our report. To read the full report, From the Ground Up, Demining Farmland and Improving Access to Fertilizer to Restore Ukraine's Agricultural Production, please visit CSIS.org.